This video will walk you through most of the key steps involved to assemble the Walmart cosmetic case from PFI in-store. For the most precise details, refer to the PDF instruction guide that can be found at jahabo.com forward slash wm counter instructions forward slash. And before you get started, make sure you read the entire instruction guide all the way through. There are four different ways to configure the cosmetic case depending on the layout of the store. All configurations will include one cosmetic case department filler and gate, part number WM24CCGTE, and Walmart item number 1007065566. Your configuration will include three or four of the 48 inch tall cosmetic cases part number WM24CC01 and Walmart item number 1007065544. Your configuration will include two or three of the 42 inch tall cosmetic cases, part number WM24CC02 and Walmart item number 1007065555. This configuration has four 48 inch cases and three 42 inch cases with the gate on the left. This configuration has four 48 inch cases and three 42 inch cases with the gate on the right. This configuration has three 48 inch cases and two 42 inch cases with the gate on the left. And this configuration has three 48 inch cases and two 42 inch cases with the gate on the right. The installation will require the following tools, a pallet jack, a socket set, a Phillips head screwdriver, a short flat head screwdriver, a box cutter, and a level. It's recommended to create lines on the floor with a chalk line or tape to guide the location of the cases. The rows of cases should be 60 inches apart to accommodate the gate. Let's first review how to unbox and assemble the taller 48 inch cases. All of the parts of the 48 inch case are on the pallet. The shelf racks are in this box inside the case. Also in this box is the hardware to connect one case to the next case. There are also some optional bolts to use to connect the two shelf racks together and the glass shelves are in the boxes under the box with the racks. The key for the case is taped to the front. The topper of the case is also on the pallet. It will attach to the top with the internal magnets. The cases will be bolted together on the bottom. You'll also run the electrical cords under the cases. To access the connection points, Remove the panel on the bottom front of the cases by removing these two screws. Once the panel is removed, level the case using the levelers on the feet of the case and your level. Now connect the bolts together. Now configure the power cords based on the diagram provided in the instructions. Note the orientation of the outlets, with the male outlet represented by a red dot in the instructions, and the female outlet by a blue cross. This configuration is for when the gate is on the left, and this configuration is when the gate is on the right side. Once all of the 48 inch cases in your configuration are level and connected, you can use the plastic plug to finish the cases that are exposed on each end. Now it's time to install the metal shelves inside the cases. If two shelves are flush with each other, these flat bolts can be added to secure them further. After the shelves are in, gently place the glass on the top of each shelf. That should finish off the 48 inch tall section of cases. Now let's move on to the shorter 42 inch cases. Each 42 inch case comes packed on its own pallet. Once you remove the packing material, you'll find the metal shelves and the hardware packed in this box. 
and the glass shelf tops are in the box on the bottom. Note that the cords for the case interior lighting are under the case, and the key for the lock is taped on the door on the back of the case. The process will be very similar to assembling the taller 48 inch cases. Line up the cases in their proper configuration. Remove the lower panel on the back of each case by removing these two screws. Level the cases using a level and adjusting the feet on the bottom with a small flathead screwdriver and the supplied wrench. Connect the cases together with the nuts and bolts. Connect all of the power cords and power on the cases. Install the metal shelves and then gently place the glass on each shelf. Now you're ready to install the last component of the cosmetic kiosk, the filler and the gate. The filler will be attached to the floor via holes that have been pre-drilled by a local contractor. For a left side gate configuration, the filler panels will be arranged like this. For a right side configuration, the filler panel will be arranged like this. You start by inserting the bolts on the bottom of the filler into the holes in the floor. Now tighten the bolts. Now attach the lower hinge bracket to the filler at the existing bolt holes with quarter 20 bolts and lock nuts. Next, set the gate panel on the lower bracket and align to the top bracket that's attached to the gate to the upper mounting holes. Attach the upper bracket with quarter by 20 bolts and lock nuts. Replace the panel by sliding it up under the outer lip and reconnecting the screws. Now the unit is complete.